is Trappios. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, this is a tutorial how to make a very simple GFX. First, open Roblox Studio and we're going to create a base plate. So click base plate. We go down here where it says models in the toolbox and we're going to select plugins and you're just going to search load character and it should be the first one that pops up, not the Roblox one. We want the free one and instead of saying update it should say install for you just click that button and it will just install very quickly now you should have it up here so we're going to go ahead and click load character and write to your roblox username in there i'm running trophios because that's my roblox username spawn r6 make sure this is on we don't want to like this we want the x there and click spawn r6 um when it spawns just click f on your keyboard and it should zoom to your character as we can see here and here is my character here and there is a base plate. Click the base plate and just delete it. We do not want that. And I'm going to click that, right click, so this list comes up and I'm going to export selection. And I'm just going to choose to put in my untitled folder and I'm going to name it tutorial. And just click save. Now because we do want a background for our GFX, um, we want to use someone's room model. A room model is a user created model that is located in toolbox static and maybe a cute aesthetic room will come up I highly suggest it will because so many talented creators here um, so this study room looks really cute so I'm gonna click that and here it is spawned wow this is really cute oh my god okay so many room models are grouped already but this one isn't so I'm just gonna select the top one just by clicking on it then I'm gonna scroll down click shift and click the bottom one so it's selected all of that again right click click go down the list go export selection and i'm just going to name it study room because that's how i want to find it and save it so this right here will pop up this is the link i'm going to be dropping in the description and there is all these options so i am a mac user so i want this one right here and the dmg is the one that i use um it doesn't matter which one you select i just prefer using dmg if you're a Windows user, go down and find one of these. You just click it and it will just start download. After you have opened Blender, all of this pops up. Um, you might be thinking, oh my god, this looks so hard to use. Trust me, it is hard at first, but it gets easier. So right this, right now, this has popped up. We don't want that. So just click like here in the world. To move around, click Shift and F and use your arrows. Want this, so click X and delete it. Um, up here where it says Blender Render, we want to change it to Cycles Render. So all these options will change. So make sure, please, it's so important, you must change it to Cycles Render. Then we're going to open our rig. The download will be in the description. Um, just download that, quite simple. Then go File, Open, Downloads, and my I've renamed mine, but you'll figure out what it's called. So go on to whatever one you, you click that. So I want the woman styled rig and click it and then click enter um, it should load in yours will have a head just delete everything if there's a head there we don't want the head we just want the body then go over to where there's like little world symbol click that click use nudes go here brightness slash contrast um, go to this button here and click denoise so we're going to select the arm or a plus symbol and um, drag that down so now you have basically two of the same screens then you need to come across and click this not this one this the higher up one that and go nude editor or this will pop up i know this is a lot um we want to go over here the button i don't know if you can see it but it's right there we want to click that we want to open the image so wherever your obj that you save from roblox to you, your character we want to find that so i just saved it in my untitled folder so I've got a bunch of things right here, but yours will be named your username and then one text. So mine's Trophios one text. I'm going to click that and enter. And here is my character. File, import, obj, desktop, or wherever yours is saved. Mine saves in a folder. So I'm going to get untitled folder and Trophios or tutorial. I named my tutorial with that. At the start, we we'll select all the body parts of my character. So not the head. We want to keep the head and everything that's on the head alone. Everything else, click and then click X and delete it. Then we want to select all of this. So right click, just click on object and right click all the objects you want. 
So I'm clicking all the objects on my character, the hat, the butterflies, the bow, the hair, and the head. Once you've done that, go over here and it says tools, click tools, and go down to join. So now we have our head. Now we want to go to set origin, so origin to geometry. Over here where it says rotation, it says Z, we want to make that 180, so it flips around. I'm just moving my camera so I have a better view, and I'm just dragging my head back. I'm using the green arrow to drag that. And here is my head, so I'm going to adjust it just using the other arrows. That Import our room model that we want. So go file, down to import, wave front object. Go to where you've saved it again and import line has loaded it. Resize, you click S, just S, and you will resize. Then go over to set origin, origin to geometry, and you can just move it around a bit. I'm just going to move mine up. Then I'm going to go in and select my character, my rig. When I say rig, I'm talking about my character, the rig, and I'm going to go down here where it says pose mode, make it the object mode. And then I'm going to click my character's head. So I'm selecting all of it, and I'm just going to move it to where I want, to, want it to sit. So I've decided actually that I want my character to be sitting in this cute egg chair. So I'm just move, using my arrows to move my character. And now down here where it's selected on the mouse, we want to select it on this half circle. Now you have this rotating thing. So this is the one that rotates it. The red goes like this, and the green goes like that. In a nice position, where she is sitting on the armchair. So I'm going like this. Yes, my legs are under the chair. You might be thinking, oh my god, why is she doing that? Well, you we'll see soon. So do not panic. Um, I'm just moving this back. You just want to select the rig. So just click on a random object in the room, then click back onto the rig. Go down to object mode and click pose mode. So we are back in the pose mode. You're gonna, I'm just going to zoom in. And on the legs, there are these two lines on each leg. We want to click that and we want to click that. And then click shift to select multiple objects. I'm going to go down here to this and my character is on a diagonal so I have just to have to keep moving these to it ends up being straight. Yours might not be on diagonal and it'll be a lot easier. I've made this a bit tricky for myself. <laughs> As you can see and I'm just positioning my legs. Then on the lower part of the legs there are two more lines but one on each side. I'm going to click both of them again, and I'm just going to go like this. And as you can see, they will bend. I'm going to click, there's a green line on the torso. It's not the yellow line, it's the green line. I'm going to click that. And this is the upper body. Um, this one's really good to have a more realistic pose. So I'm going to be using this just to kind of give a more realistic pose of her like kind of leaning back. And then I'm going to proceed to click the head, the head forward. I'm going to go like there. And I just kind of want to tilt it so, it, and there are circles on the arm. We want this circle here and go down here to the bendy half circle and just move one of those. So this is the bend. It bends basically the joint. And then I'm going to click the double circle ring and I'm just going to move that. She's just going to be kind of resting her arm. Then we're going to go to the next arm. I'm going to grab this. Just bend it a little bit and then grab the double circles and just kind of move it in. The circle around here and, I'm just look at that. and that is the wrist you can just experiment with all these parts of the rig now I'll just click a random object in the room doesn't matter what then we're going to go down to add i'm going to add the camera then go view and we're going to go camera and just use your keys to move around and i'm going to just back up right back so i've just got the character in frame there is where it says resolution you can adjust these to create shape. So I'm going to create a square shape and I'm going to go, it's the viewpoint shading and I'm going to click rendered. So this is going to show me what my image will look like as a final product. And I'm going to decide if I like that or not. Go back over to the world button and where it says color, I'm going to choose orangey color. So it looks like it's a sunny day outside and there is light filling in. And if your brightness is quite low, where it says bright, you just put that up. Not too high, I'm sorry, put that up too high. I suggest putting it like 0.3, maybe at the most. Scroll up, and where it says render, just hit that. And now it's going to start rendering up here. You will see the percentage that you just need to leave your laptop open. 
So I'll give it about 20 minutes at the most, and it's just going to render away. We'll be back when mine's finished rendering. Okay, so mine is finished rendering. It took about 30 minutes to render. Now we're going to save it by clicking image, save as image, and select your destination. We'll save as a PNG and have high quality. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more tutorials on Roblox GFX.